This is Samsung and it's running on Android 13. I have successfully bypassed it and this is how. And it was just very easy but hard at the same time. By installing the application named LP, I was able to dig deeper into the system applications. As you can see, I have made this phone dual SIM. As we all know, these phones are single SIM. They are based on single SIM and the other slot is either disabled or the IMA number is not registered. Let me show you real quick by removing my SIM slot. As you can see, there is only one slot but the other one is being covered. But I was able to unlock. As you can see, I have two SIM toolkit the one and the second one so meaning this phone is dual and i'll show you how i made it on another video i'll show you real quick i'll make a video on that how to make it dual sim but let's go with what really made us how i bypassed this phone it was really simple but it was very hard to find the applications I had to find the applications that have permission to factor reset the phone and have permission to power off the phone remotely and clear the application data or full stop the phone. The first one was the work profile. As you all know, the work profile is the one that you set the phone with. And as you set the phone, that's where you'll download the additional applications that like the one to lock the phone as you can see this is the name of the application you can either take a screenshot or download the application to find these apps the system applications or you can write it down or you can either take a screenshot and the next was the work profile number two and there are two types of work profiles the one you set after factory setting the phone there on the screen of welcome that one to set and the other one that you can set with the alliance shield etc and the next is the software update you have to uninstall or disable the software update so that your phone may not lock if your phone locks you might not be able to unlock it again because the system updates might be stronger the security patch might be stronger because each day they become stronger there are two types of software updates and you have to disable all of them you have to disable all of them and the next package is the video engine service sec video engine service the sec video engine service has permission to factor reset your phone remotely that's why we need to remove it that's also we need to remove it and the next is the mdm application the mdm application is the one that tells you your phone has run out of payments etc as it locks when you type the command and it's like hey your phone has been locked because device services was uninstalled without authorization and the next application is the nox processor the nox processor also that you need to delete it completely not even disabling it deleting it completely the nox pack processor you need to delete it this is the name of the package by just typing the command you'll be able to delete it you can use the negative key and install you all know that type of command but if you don't know i'll make a video about it and the next is the nox keychain you also have to delete that and also find my mobile this is the most crucial you need to disable find my mobile so that your phone might not be traced remotely but remember if you lost your phone if you lose your phone you might never find it again epdg tst application that has permission to factor reset your phone remotely you also have to disable it as you can see here just all this type of it has uh, it has access to all this type of permissions and you have to disable it also all these types of all these they are about 15 to 10 there are a lot enterprise sim service the dqa device services the configuration apk the system ui and the system ui the silent logging and the launcher 
these applications that have ability to wake your screen lock i mean they can unlock your screen lock as you all know when your phone locks you you will not be able to set a screen lock to unlock your phone your phone won't ask you for password because this application has already taken over and you have to remove it because it has it's powerful in short it's powerful really powerful this phone is running so smooth very very smoothly and most importantly of all you can set the biometrics you can use fingerprint freely freely totally freely because i found the applications necessary to remove the kg or the mdm let me set a pattern real quick so that i can prove to you i'll set a simple pattern just a simple pattern i'll set a really simple pattern i'll confirm then i can even set the fingerprints I can even set the fingerprints and this phone is unlocked it's kg unlocked i'll register the fingerprints real quick for you and boom already scanned i prefer to add for easier unlock the, your phone will read this as two different fingerprints so you will have you will, your phone will be much easier to unlock and boom done and if i lock the screen if i lock the screen and i turn it on as you can see yes the fingerprint it's sided and boom just a top unlocked